Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and I wanted to make a bit of a throwback video and make a follow-up video to my fourth most popular video on my channel, which is over the chest expander. And I am proud to say that video has just eclipsed 10,000 views. That is truly amazing. It's the fourth video I have to do so. And it's really been picking up a lot of traction recently, which I don't know why. It's honestly not my favorite video that I've made, but I decided to make a follow-up video here and just demonstrate three more chest expander exercises. If you have not seen my first video on the chest expander, I would highly recommend all of you watch it. I go over the history of the exercise implement as well as three of my favorite exercises. And this video is just showing you three more that I commonly use in my workout routine. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of these exercises, please, please leave them in the comment section below. And I hope you all enjoy this video. This first exercise is a basic bicep curl. There's nothing too fancy or special about it, and you can go pretty heavy. Just keep adding springs to your handles, and you can go as heavy as you want. It's a fairly safe exercise, and the resistance increases at the top of the movement, of course. It's kind of like bands in that way. The one thing I will say is when you put one of the handles under your feet, make sure you have your toes pointed against the ground. You don't want your heel to be very tight against the ground and your toes kind of loose, because then the whole exercise tool can actually pop up and hit you in the face and you really don't want that. I've actually seen that happen to people. So make sure your toes are actually planted on the ground and your heel can be a little bit lighter. But your the expander itself is not going to fly backwards and hit you. It's going to hit you in front of your face above your toes, going over your toes. So make sure your toes are locked to the ground and go as heavy as you would like. Add as many springs as you would like. This is a really great finisher exercise. Exercise number two is a really old school chest exercise that was practiced originally by Eugene Sandow. And what you're doing here is you are bringing your hands real close inside your body, right to your pecs, and you are expanding out using both your triceps and your chest and bringing your chest forward into the uh, springs themselves. And this is a really good exercise. Ironically enough, it's pretty hard to actually ch train your chest muscles, your pecs, with the chest expander, but this is one of the few really good exercises that definitely works your pecs effectively. Exercise number three is a basic side lateral raise, and I don't hear too many people talk about this exercise, but it is personally one of my favorites. If I have any shoulder pain or inflammation in my shoulders from doing any exercises, or maybe I've worked them too hard, I always use this exercise to still work my delts. And for whatever reason, be it that I don't have to work against gravity, or it's a different kind of resistance, I can always use this exercise and fall back on it, especially if I've got those pains and aches and still feel that I'm getting a really good workout in my shoulders. So if you do have any pains or aches in your shoulders and you struggle to do a typical side lateral raise with any sort of resistance, definitely give this one a try. All right, and those are the three exercises I wanted to discuss with all of you today. I just wanted to do this exercise, this video mainly because the chest expander video I did and the three exercises has really been taking off recently, and I'm not totally sure why, but I figured all of you would want to see a couple more exercises to do. Next week, I will be doing a video on another uh, interesting at-home exercise tool that is often not talked about that I have been getting recommendations to do a video on, so I will be doing a video on it. But if you have any other future video ideas, do leave them in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to get back to you. But until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.